Community Practice Services was extremely helpful to us during our implementation. They offered convenient classes for our staff and they had a knowledgeable group of super users here during our go live. They also did not allow us to take this huge step alone. They were here with us every step of the way. Thinking back, if anyone tells you that they weren't anxious when they transitioned from a paper-based system to an EHR, I don't think they're being entirely truthful to you. But the fact of the matter is, is that most of the difficulties uh, occur if you don't have enough training and support. And I'm happy to say the community practice services provided us with a uh, great team to help us make that transition. This is Megan, may I help you? They came out to the office and trained us. Sure, and what's wrong with your child? They come back when we need more training. Okay, would you like to come in today at 11.30? And we're still continuing to learn. We've been active on the EHR for just over a year now. Thank you, bye-bye. Community Practice Services is there for us to continue the training. It's been amazing. It's been a very positive experience for my staff. Each time I enter a patient referral form, I'm required to type in the patient's medical record number. Is there any way we can make this part of the patient's demographics so it only has to be entered once? The Clinical Content Committee is a group of lead physicians from each of the practices that are on the EHR. Community Practice Services brings us together once a month, either in person or electronically, to talk about the EHR. What we can do is add a new field to the registration template so that medical records number is always a part of the patient's record. And we all talk about what's working well with the EHR, what's not working well with the EHR, implementations that we would like to see performed so that flow patterns are better. It also allows us to discuss upgrades to the software and how those might be implemented in the practice. The Clinical Content Committee is another way that Community Practice Services keeps it local and relevant to what we're doing in our practice. Please enter your passcode followed by the pound or half key and I'll connect you. Okay, I know I have Julie on the phone and I have Rhonda. Who else do I have joined? Shauna. Okay. The user group meetings that Community Practice Services facilitates for the office managers provide us with information and updates that are necessary for the next-gen users. They also provide us with information regarding diagnosis codes and insurance information. They also give us an opportunity to share our best practices with the other practices. The user group meetings that Community Practice Services offer are unique. We could not get that from another billing software service. Thank you for calling Community Practice Services. This is Drew. Well, sure, I'd be happy to take a look at that for you. What terminal server are you on? The greatest value of our partnership with Community Practice Services is the ability to call them when we have a problem. They can remote access into our computer and see the problem directly. They can see exactly what we are seeing. Having them just a phone call away or actually having a person coming to your site to help you with those transitions, uh, you can't place a price on that. The single most beneficial service that community practice services provides to our office is just having a person to go to uh, with questions or concerns. They've been in my office. They know my staff. They've seen how we work. They've seen how our patients flow in our office. Community practice services has been of great value to our practice as we've gone on to the EHR. <laughs>